Hey, what's up everybody? It's Steve with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel coming to you with a much needed and overdue channel update. So if you're a subscriber, and if you're not, you should be, you might have noticed that I haven't posted any videos since like September of last year. So it's not for a lack of like effort or desire to post videos. It's not the channel coming to an end or anything like that. So I went through some health issues the last couple of months and it just honestly like took everything out of me and I wasn't out fishing and, and stuff like that. So, so I'm just going to give you a quick rundown basically of what I went through and where I am now and the exciting stuff that's coming up for the channel now that I've got that behind me and uh, this weather it should break like any time because here in Missouri today um, it's like 46 degrees windy and uh, it's like threatening rain and like tomorrow is going to be 70 something but it's going to be raining and I don't even care because the garage y'all it's a disaster like I can't even get the Hobie off the wall right now even if I wanted to take it out on the water so so that's tomorrow's project get the garage clean but so let's talk about everything oh, we know what we have let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Alright y'all, so what I was battling is called a urinary stricture And it's pretty rare, apparently, in younger guys like me um, One of the first things they asked me is if I rode a lot of BMX bikes when I was a kid um, which I mean I did, but so the l short version of it is like repeated strikes to your manhood can cause these. Um, I raced four wheelers and dirt bikes my whole life. Um, so between those and uh, one or two ex-girlfriends, I'm pretty sure that's what caused it. So basically, if you imagine this is my manhood, it's almost to scale. Way up here by the bladder, it was like the my pee tube would go from like this to like this. So what they do is they go right on up the front <laughs> and they basically, I call it the rotor rooter they take out the scar tissue. And that's got a success rate of like 48% apparently. Um, so it came back because I had that done in July. So then I was back into it. I'm like peeing like I never peed in my life. Well then in August, uh, well, actually not August, beginning of September, I went on a trip with some friends to the wineries and I couldn't pee. It was like almost 24 hours. I was in a world of pain and all of a sudden I started peeing again. And I was like, well, okay. I didn't want to go back to the urologist because they stick the camera and everything else down there. I'm like, it must have just been a fluke. But I went back to the urologist and they stuck the camera in there. Well, wouldn't you know, the scar tissue was coming back. So they said, well, we're going to rotor rooter that shit again. So they went back in, they rotor rooted it out. Fast forward to November. Guess who's back in the ER? Can't pee. I work in an ER, so now my friends are trying to cath me. I mean, it, it is a whole thing. They rushed me into surgery, and this time instead of doing a rotor rooter, they dilated it, which basically means they spread that scar tissue out as far as they could and then shoved a big old catheter tube in there. That was pleasant. So then while that was in, they got me set up with a specialist for February and she does what's called uh, urethroplasty where from your, we're, you know what, we're just going to get real honest with it. From your balls to your butthole, they slice you open, take your urethra, they cut out the part that keeps regrowing the scar tissue and they, they just rebuild that section. They can either reattach it if there's enough there on either side or they take skin out of the inside of your mouth. I got lucky. They were able to just didn't have to take skin from my mouth. So, but prior to that surgery was on February 15th and about a month prior to that couldn't pee again. And they can't, they can't do anything about it that close to the surgery because you just, it'll mess the surgery up. So they put in what's called a supra pubic catheter, which basically means right above my hang down, they stuck a tube through my abdomen and I had to walk around with that for a month. Then I went to the surgery and after the surgery, you have two catheters, the suprapubic and the standard right on up the hang down. 
and <clears throat> you got those for three weeks. The end of three weeks, they pull them out, they shoot dye down your hang down, and they see if everything's going okay. So now, so basically I had catheters from, I've had catheters several times, but I had them from January 19th all the way to March 7th. And now I got this cool thing like on your taint where they had to fold the skin and stitch it. So it comes to like almost a point. So there's like this, this ridge of memory that runs from my balls to my butthole. But the point is, <laughs> I'm good now. I can pee. I got a six month and a one year follow up. Success rate is extremely high. Confidence is very high. But all of that, man, like it'll it'll mess with your mindset. And it really got me thinking. Like I've never really had health problems, so I never really took working out seriously. I never took my diet seriously. I just you know, basically from September to now, just kind of like rock my universe a little bit. So I'm healthy and i've lost weight i'm still losing weight i'm working out I'm taking things more seriously um, we're gonna do a lot of videos this year um, i'm gonna do some solo stuff with the kayak um, amazon just sent me this pretty cool one person bivy tent it has me like all excited about loading up the kayak and just kind of going out on my own on the river or whatever my buddy christian just got a brand new kayak that he's super jacked about we're gonna be doing a lot of fishing out of that thing uh, smitty and chaco going to get them into the fold. It's going to be a good year and a lot more Kira because uh, she's asked to skip summer school this year. And I think I might let her. They have a voluntary summer school program here and I always stick her in it because that's my free time during the week when I'm off work and she's at summer school. I'm like, peace, dad time. But she's asked to skip it. I think I'm going to let her. But there's a couple of things I want to talk about and I'm going to say right up front, I am not sponsored by the two companies and products I'm about to show you at all. I use them because I heard about them two different ways and they've literally changed my life. And it's technically three products, but I'm gonna show you two and talk about a third that goes with one of them. So the first thing is I I was drinking coffee constantly. I mean like four or five cups a day and I'd get that crash and everything else and then um, I was listening to the Meat Eater podcast, and I heard them talking about this product. It's called Mountain Ops Ignite. This one's pink lemonade. Let's see if it'll come up without making a whole mess. So, it's a caffeine, it's a coffee supplement is what I call it. Go lay down. I know it smells good. Even the dogs want some. So, basically, Mountain Ops Ignite is a coffee supplement at, at its core. Okay, I mean, it's a general caffeine supplement. I mix it in 16 ounces of water first thing in the morning. I drink it. Actually, hold on a second. I... So that's my blender bottle. So 16 ounces. It tastes really good. Excuse me. It's not gritty or powdery. But here's the big thing with Mountain Ops Ignite. It's slow release energy without a crash. It doesn't give you the jitters. It doesn't just hit you all at once and then fade off. You just, you barely even notice it, but it just keeps you going all day. And when you start feeling sluggish, just like all of a sudden, here it is again and you're good. So I'm not drinking any coffee anymore. It's not that I don't like the taste of it. It's just that I always drank coffee as a means to an end. I wanted the energy. And Mountain Ops Ignite, it, it takes care of it. This is, um, I want to say it's, 30 39 or 40 dollars for this jug and i want to say it's 45 servings let me see if it tells me yeah it's a total of 45 servings and actually now i'm thinking about it, i think it's 45.99 i think it works out to basically a dollar a drink something like that i no matter how you slice it way freaking cheaper than coffee you can get it on amazon i'm gonna put a link an affiliate link down below you can get both of these products on Amazon. I'm just gonna say that now real quick. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do have an affiliate account with Amazon. So the link's down below. If you click them and you make a purchase, just know that I get a percentage off of that. But I believe in these products and that's why I'm telling you about them. The other thing that changed, literally changed my life more than anything, changed my whole mindset just about how I was taking care of myself was I picked up Tom Brady's book, The TB12 Method, and it's a great book. I'm not into the whole, like, mostly vegan 
type diet he's got going on. I, I like bad food. I like Chinese. I like McDonald's. So for me, I was able to curb diet simply by li limiting myself to one cheat day a week. Like, you know, just I was eating bad all the time. Now I'm eating bad once a week, sometimes twice a week if I go out with friends, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm definitely more careful about what I'm intaking. And I use an app on my phone called My Fitness Pal. Go lay down. Every time I open something that smells good, they come around. My Fitness Pal is a calorie tracker. I'm keeping myself to about 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day and trying to watch, you know, how much sodium and stuff like that I'm taking in. But I'm not, I by no means giving up the bad food. At the bar the other night, I smashed mozzarella sticks, mushroom poppers, and jalapeno poppers, and a couple beers, because that's my cheat day and I'm gonna do what I want. So I don't really, I don't subscribe to his diet, but I will tell you one thing about his thought process, his program changed everything for me, and that's hydration. I suck at drinking water. I can tell you that over the course of a month, Prior to all these medical issues, I would drink less than 24 ounces of water that was actually water. My water came in coffee, lotus drinks, uh, beer. Like, I just do not like the taste of water. Um, aside from the... Actually, no, that number's off because I was drinking the Mountain Ops. So, I was drinking 16 ounces a day at the most, and it was with Mountain Ops in it. So, needless to say, hydration sucked. Tom's method basically says, take your body weight, divide it in half, and then whatever that number is, drink that amount in ounces of water per day. And when I first read that, I'm like, hey, Tom, man, like, I don't know if I can drink 110, 120 ounces a day. But I decided to try out the TB12 electrolytes. Now, these things, I'm out of practice, can you tell? They just, they don't have junk. They've got stuff your body needs in them without the junk. The flavor is not overpowering in the water whatsoever. It gives it like a hint. So the lemonade flavor, it's like a hint of lemonade. Peach, a hint of peach. Blue pomegranate, you can almost barely even taste that one. That's, uh, that's what this one is. So they come in two different forms. You can get the powder and you can get the little squirt bottle. I have both. I use the powder at home and I take the squirt bottle on the go. Like if I'm going to work or if I'm going to go out on the kayak or something like that, that's what I'm going to take. With his, the, his, look, his book just speaks to me. It gets me all jacked up and motivated. Like if I'm feeling lazy, I just pick it up and read like a half a chapter. And then I go work out and I just tell myself, this is Tom Brady's workout. I'm working out like Tom Brady. This is how Tom Brady drinks. I'm drinking like Tom Brady. This is not how Tom Brady eats. I'm eating like Steve. I, that's just, it changed my whole mindset. I will tell you, I am consistently drinking about 100 to 120 ounces of water a day. Sometimes 96. One day I drank 160. But I will tell you that if my body, it's conditioned now. I don't even necessarily drink when I'm thirsty. My body tells me when it wants the water. Almost always I'm putting the electrolytes in it because I don't like the way straight up water tastes. So for me, TB12 electrolytes are not exactly cheap. Um, the squirt bottles, I want to say $15.99. I think it's like 30, 35 or 39 for the powder. The powder is 30-ish, 25 or 30 servings, something like that. And the squirt bottle is like 20. You can obviously stretch it further than that or get less out of it depending on how much you're using. Go lay down, sweetie. Go. Um, so look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you the electrolytes are cheap, but I am going to tell you that they're worth it, at least for me. If you're someone that has a hard time drinking water or whatever, this is the way to go. And it's definitely better for you than Gatorade and stuff like that. Proper hydration changed everything for me, and I owe that to Tom. So, hey, you know what a lot of people are hating? I'm glad he's back for another year. I want to see TB12 just keep on dropping those bombs, man. He's so much fun to watch. So, like I said, I'm not sponsored. Mountain Ops doesn't know who I am, and neither does Tom Brady, nor do either of them need my money. But 
they're great products and you can find the link down below. So that's kind of what I went through. Like I said, we just kind of breezed through it. I didn't want to get too heavy on it. Um, but hey, I'm peeing like a pro now. It's, it's never worked this good in my whole life. So there's a chance that I was born with a little bit of it. But so that's my update. So I'm glad you're here on the channel. If you're not a subscriber and you found this video through searching or it popped up a suggestion, I hope that you will subscribe. Check out my other videos. There's a lot of great stuff on here. And you know what? My highest video right now is my cooler tube video. I'll put a thingy up here. It's at like 26,000 views or something like that right now, which is just like mind blowing to me. But what I want to know is why all 26,000 of you aren't subscribers because you should be. I'm damn entertaining. So thanks for watching my update and uh, more videos to come. I might have one later today, actually. I have to, uh, I got to make a burn barrel before I start cleaning the garage out tomorrow. I got just a ton of cardboard from Amazon and everything else. And it's too windy here lately to throw it all in the bonfire pit. So we're going to use the burn barrel. So stay tuned for more videos. Peace. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.